In this video, we demonstrate how a deployment state is recorded by performing a rolling update and a rollback. Now let's create a simple deployment. kubectl create deployment my nginx image nginx 115 Alpine and now use kubectl get deployments replica sets pods as you notice we're using the short versions of the API resource names and I don't want to display all the deployments, all the replica sets, and all the pods. I want to only display the ones that are labeled with app equals my nginx. So it only displays the my nginx deployment, the replica set associated with this deployment, and then the only pod that was created uh, with this deployment. And we said that the pod is running and everything is in ready. Now what I would like to do is scale the deployment up to three replicas. kubectl scale deployment my nginx. Whoops. I forgot to provide the number of replicas. equals three and again let's list the deployment the replica set and the pods so this time we have three running pods three replicas and the deployment is ready let's remember the name of the replica set so let's remember for the replica set my nginx the CFCC ending string. We want to remember this for future to see how the state is recorded for this particular deployment. And this being our initial um, replica set, it will undergo several changes throughout the rolling update and the rollback processes. I could also issue a kubectl describe deployment and specifically what I'm looking for is the image. The image is nginx version 115 alpine. Now for the purposes of uh, rolling updates and rollbacks, we could also use the kubectl rollout command. And first I want to see the rollout history. Of the my nginx deployment. And so far, we only have a single revision. And that is for the current state of the deployment. And revision one is associated with the Nginx 115 image. And it is associated with the replica set ending with CFCC. Now I can also further display details about the revision by providing revision number. So in this case is revision one. And we see in the revision information display, again, the image is displayed as Nginx 115 Alpine. And let's keep an eye on the images as they change 
throughout the rolling update and the rollback processes. Now, if I tried to display a different revision, maybe revision two, there is no such revision yet. Now let's perform a rolling update. Now remember a rolling update does not necessarily mean an upgrade. I could perform a rolling update and actually move down in the image version. But in this case, we will be moving up. So the rolling update will per also perform an upgrade on our image. So let's upgrade our image cube CTL set image. Deployment my engine X and the engine X image will be updated to engine X one dot sixteen Alpine. Now the image has been updated. So I could look at the rollout history of the deployment. And now we have two revisions. One was the, for the original state and two is for the most recent state. Let's look at details of each. Let's look at revision one first. And we see that it was for the 1.15 Alpine image. And if we display details of the revision two, it shows the 1.16 Alpine image, the updated image. Now let's take a quick look at our objects. So let's display deployment replica sets and pods for the my nginx app. So we have the same deployment, three replicas ready. We have the three pods running. However, if we're looking at the replica sets, we will see that the original replica set that we had set up originally with three replicas, the CFCC, now it has been scaled down to zero. So this replica set is recorded as the original state of my deployment. And with the original state, I could basically roll back to this state anytime I want. And the new replica set ending in 8444 with three running pods, three replicas is associated with the new and current 116 Alpine image. And that same replica set is associated with the revision number two. Now, if I'm not happy with the revision number two, I can always just roll back to revision one. So I can issue a cube CTL, roll out, undo, deployment my engine X to revision one. So it says that my deployment has been rolled back. Let's take a look at rollout history. And now we see that we have revision two and three. So revision number one, which was the original revision becomes revision number three, which is the most current revision. And number two is still associated with um, the Nginx image 
116. So revision 2 is associated with, with 116. Revision number 3 is associated with the rolled back version of 115. And now if I'm trying to pull up the revision number 1, that is no longer available because number 1 just became number 3. And let's also look at deployments, replica sets, and pods. So now we see that the original replica set ending with CFCC has been scaled up back to three replicas. And then the second replica set associated with version 116 and revision 2 has been scaled down to zero. So again, the state has been recorded with this replica set. And if I do want to, I can always roll back to this version as well. Now keep in mind that you, by default you can perform up to 10 consecutive rolling updates and you can then roll back to any one of those 10 recorded states. In this case, we just performed one rolling, rolling update and one rollback. Now, finally, rolling updates and rollbacks are not specific for deployments only. They are supported by other controllers as well, uh, such as daemon sets and stateful sets.